A catio is an outdoor cat enclosure that lets them safely enjoy being outside. They can smell the fresh air, watch the birds, play with the bugs, or just take a nap. After seeing our inside cats look longingly out the window, I decided to tackle the catio project. I'm going to show you how to build your very own catio step by step. This one is 11 and a half feet long and 3 feet 9 inches out from the wall, which is big enough for our cats to roam around and also room for a person to sit and hang out with them. Being next to the dining room and kitchen windows allows us to observe them from inside the house. I installed a cat door in one of the windows. You can also install one in a wall or a door, depending on your house layout. The total cost for the materials was $490. You may decide to build a smaller catio. A six foot long catio would cut your cost in half. I wanted something that would not need maintenance, so that ruled out wood, which would need to be repainted periodically. PVC does not have that problem and it's easier to cut and assemble than wood. I used three quarter inch pipe. The next size up one inch would probably be more sturdy, but cost twice the price of three quarter. I always design my projects on graph paper with each square representing one square foot. I add the exact measurements of every pipe and the height and length of all the platforms. There are six different types of connectors used in this project. 5-way elbow, 4-way elbow, 3-way elbow, 4-way T, 3-way T, and corner elbow. So after I built the frame, I thought, I probably need more support for the roof panel. So I had to improvise by doing it this way with the zip ties. Uh, so when you build yours, uh, just put a four way here and extend it up. The door is in and working. Hallelujah! Two fences should overlap by one square. One hundred and eight zip ties later, this side is done. Oh, wait, I've got to trim them all now. Oh, man. Yeah, like it. Yep. All the fencing and the door is done. Hallelujah. That's 
That's what I'm talking about. It's 86 degrees this afternoon in Middle Tennessee, heat index 90. So my wife didn't want me to catch heat stroke, so this was her idea. <laughs> Glad you're painting. If you're more than six feet tall, watch out for these beams. I've hit them a number of times. This is the last zip tie of the entire project, number 311. Praise the Lord! but she's keeping dry. I had to add a board here to keep our cat from digging under and getting her paw stuck on that cat door, which has already happened. Okay, now it's your turn to build a catio. Feel free to leave a comment or a question below and hit subscribe for more of my do-it-yourself videos. Have fun and God bless you.